Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to continue the Unity C Sharp Fundamentals and basically explain to you what enums are and how we can use them in games. So the first thing that I'm going to have you do is basically uncheck the video 7 and disable it. Let's create a new game object and this is going to be the one used for this lesson which is video 8. I'm also going to create a new script so right click on the scripts folder and then C Sharp script and we're going to call it video 8 and I'm going to drag and drop that into video 8 so that we can associate it with that game object wait, on, wait until it compiles or we can do, do it that way or you can click on a component to do it as well okay perfect so now let's go into Visual Studio Code or your editor and I'm going to go into video 8 so why do I use enums in my games and the reason that I do that is because I need to keep track of things. So that might sound simple, but that's really that's really why I use them a lot for, is that a lot of times I need to keep track of like the state of the game. I know if, I wanna know if the player is playing the game, if, if they're in the menu, if they are in a pause mode, or, you know, changing the state, that's why enums are so powerful. You can use enums for a lot of things. So I'm gonna show you one example. So let's create a new enum. And this enum, it's going to be, the way that you declare it, it's, you tell it what the accessory is going to be. In this case, I want to make it public, and then the word enum. And then the type of enum that you want to create, actually game, up, game mode. So this is going to be basically your variable name. What do you want this enum to be? I'm going to call it game mode. That could be anything that you want to represent. So in my game mode, I'm going to have a few modes. So I, I want to know when the player is... Let's say that they are looking at the menu. I want to know when they pause the menu. I want to know when they're playing the game. I want to know when they basically are in game over, so they die. And let's say that I wanted to add another mode, which I think I think those four are fi fine for now. So what is all these and how can I use it? So in reality, you could actually declare these as this. I could say, menu it's, it starts at zero I can say that it starts pause it starts at one play and it starts at two and game over it starts at three so enums in reality are anything that you declare inside of it it's gonna have an integer representation so if I were to convert this to an integer I'm gonna get the value of zero if I convert the pause to an integer I'm gonna get the value of one you could also change this I could say you know, this is three, this is two, this is one, or this is zero. Or I could just let the compiler do its job and it's gonna actually start it automatically. Add a number, and I believe the number is zero, one, two, three, and then it increments from there. So that's great, so now how do I use them? So the way that I wanna use them is, is I want to create a private variable that is gonna, that is gonna store the game mode, and it's gonna be declare as follows so you tell it the type so my type is going to be game mode and the variable is going to be game mode equal to the game mode that i want to start with so let's say that i wanted to start with idle for instance so i could add another another game mode here i'll just call it idle say that that's that's the state that comes in when the game is basically starting or i could say starting and I can change that as well. Or I could just simply say, there's no game mode being assigned, so I can call it none. So you get the idea. So I'm gonna start it with none, and these are all the different modes that are available. The other thing that I can do with this that is really cool, is I can actually override it through the inspector. So I'm gonna say serialize, serialize field, because I want to be able to control this through the inspector. The other thing that I'm gonna do is let's actually use the update method this time. I want to do a debug entry of the current game mode that is that is being set. Perfect. And this is by by no means this is performance. You don't want to do this in a in an update. But for or demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna say update and then always show me the current game mode that is assigned. 
Now let's go back into Unity. And if everything compiles fine, we shouldn't get any errors. Let's give it a second. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna click on the console so that we can see the game mode that is assigned. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on collapse so that we only see the combined game mode that is currently being set, which is set to none. So the other cool thing that I did is I added it through the inspector. So by doing this private variable as a serializable field, I now have access to the game modes in here. So I can say, okay, I want this game mode to be menu. And you can see that that changes to menu. I could do, okay, the player, you know, it's now in game over. And yep, and that changes. So you can, you can see how powerful that could be. So the other thing that a lot of times we can do, so let's actually go back into and add curly braces in here because we're gonna have more than one line. And perfect. So a lot of times we wanna do logical expressions when it comes to, you know, games. So I could technically, if I didn't wanna do this, I could say, I could do something like private string and then get mode string equal none, or I could type in menu, or I could type in pause. So, so that's fine, and, and that works, but when you're checking for things, let's say that I wanted to check if the get mode string equal pass, so I would need to do something like this, right? I could say if get mode equal pass, then I say, yeah, that the game the game is in pass, and, and you can do, you know, you can show your pass menu and do those things. So that's great, but what if you wanted to combine, okay, let's say that I, I was playing the game, and for whatever reason, I wanted I wanted to check another mode. I, I wanted to check, you know, the player, you know, we're playing the game, but also the, the player might be, you know, might have a different mode. I wanted to combine different modes, so I could say, Okay, I'm playing the game, and the player itself is in idle. So player, it's idle. So for instance, I wouldn't recommend doing doing this this way, but this is just an example, because you would probably want to add another game mode for the player itself, and no, as a as an overall game mode. But I want to show you how you can combine these two. And if you had if you had to do an string, you you couldn't really do that. You could you would need to do something like pass and then player idle and then you would need to check for that. So it's, it's really not optimal to do it that way. So, but in here I could change my logic and I could say, okay, you know, I wanna know if the game mode, the current game mode equal, and then I can check game mode that plane or game mode that player idle. So I can change, I could check that. And looks like that, that's perfect. So, excellent. So what am I doing here is I'm actually combining the game modes. I'm saying, okay, if the current game mode is, you know, the player, where the player is playing and also the player is in idle, then do this. So I could say debug.log, the current, mode is set to playing and also player idle. Perfect. So now let's go back into Unity and let's see if everything compiles. And let's give it a second. And you can see that I'm not getting, I'm not getting that line of getting executed. And what if I wanted, what if I change this from known to plain or game mode equal player idle. And this is actually, by the way, this is not an or operation. What this is doing is actually including these two game modes into this enum. So, so what I'm telling the system is that my variable is going to, is going to be set to the mode of game game mode plane and also player idle. So I have two modes associated with the same variable. So let's now go back into Unity. And he played to stop the game. 
and perfect. And let's hit play one more time. And it looks like that pipe base is not working. So let's actually do do this. So I'm gonna say the game mode equal equal plane and the game mode equal equal game mode that player idle. Excellent. Let's go back into Unity. And we're getting an error. Let's go back and fix the error. And let me see where that error is. Player idle. And this is case sensitive, so you want to be careful with that. And let's go back into Unity. And let's just hit play one more time. Hopefully we don't see any errors. And we're still not seeing the the other the other mode getting printed out because we're saying if the game mode is equal equal plane and the game mode is equal equal player idle then we do this so I think what we need to do is we can say oh, I see what's happening so what's happening is because I serialized this field I'm already getting I'm already getting what the last time what the game mode was set to so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually not gonna serialize it so that we can set it to whatever we want. And now we should go back into Unity, hit play. And let's see what we get. And we're getting a game mode of seven. So if you, if you count these, we have zero, one, two, three, and four. So What's, what the compiler is doing, it's actually doing this. So if I do none equal that, menu equal one, equal this, equal three, equal four, and equal five. So what I got, what I got from the game mode is a value of seven. So what the compiler is doing, is actually doing an operation. It's saying, okay, I have the playing mode, which is a value of three, plus the player idle, which is a value of four. And that's why I'm seeing the value of seven getting printed out. Perfect. So what if we wanted to do, let's actually do our OR operation one, one more time, which I think it was working before. And, and sorry, this is not an OR operation, this is combining those two modes into, into one. It looks like an OR operation because an OR operation I could do it like that. So let's go back into Unity and hit clear. And let's hit play one more time. And looks like that's working. So the current mode is set to plane and also player idle. So so what we're seeing right now is we, we have so much power because not only we have an enum that we can set, you know, for one of these enums, such as menu, pass, plane, but we could actually combine them. And, and there's a lot of power for that because you a lot of times, like I did here, you know, I want to know if the game if the game is currently playing, and also if the player is in idle, or I might want to know if the player is running, and I'm also, you know, the game mode is the game mode is playing. So that's how you can use some of those enums. the The other thing that is powerful about this is I show you that these are represented by an integer value. So I could say debug debug that log, and let's say that I wanted to cast it. I wanted to cast the game object to an integer value. So I could say game mode that menu and we can print that out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna print this out so you can see its value. And we could also let's actually do let's actually do menu and do game over. Go back into Unity. Give it a few seconds for it to compile. Hit play. Excellent. So we see that the value of menu is one and the value, let's see, actually this was game over. So let's go back here, go back into Unity, hit play to stop it, hit play to replay it. 
and give it a second and we can see that the value, the integer value of the enum game mode that menu equal one and the same thing for game over it equals five which is what I represented in here. So what would happen if I set this to a value of 50 and I set the menu to a value of say 100. Let's go back into Unity and hit play one more time and give it a few seconds and you can see that I'm able to control the integer value associated with game mode that menu which is indeed 100 and also the game, the game over it's 50. Excellent, so the other thing that we can do with enums is we could actually print its string representation which is what we did before. So let's do, let's do it this way, let's do debug.log and let's say that I wanted to know the game mode the string representation of plane and we can do either a two string or we can just print it out like this should give us the same results and I'm gonna hit play to stop it and play it one more time to to play the game and let's give it a second and we can see that the stream representation of game mode that plane equals plane so that's working fine I could also do get mode that game over and I could actually do a to string which is really what what the debug.log is doing let's go back into unity hit play to stop it and play to restart it and we can see play and game over so that that's really all I wanted to show you about enums if you guys have any questions let me know through the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share this video thank you guys